can you solve this geometry challenge? Here's the question. Given this point, let's draw a circle like this. And now, let's draw a rectangle such that three of its side must be tangent to our circle. And then, from this point of tangency, let's draw a segment directly to the opposite side of this rectangle. Now, the measure of this segment must be equal to 5 units, and the measure of this chord must be equal to 6 units. Now, our goal in this question is to find the area of this rectangle. Now, you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now, suppose you pause this video. Now, let's see if you got the correct answer. All right. Now, given this information, our goal is to find the area of this rectangle. Now, we know the area of this rectangle, we need to find first the base multiplied by its height. And we don't have the base and we don't have the height yet. So, to answer this question, what we're going to do is to put this 5 on the top like this. Alright, so this segment from this point to this point must be equal to 5 plus 6 or simply equal to 11 units. Alright. Now, one strategy to answer this kind of question is to focus on this point of tangency. Now, it's either to connect this point of tangency to the center of the circle to create a radius or we can create a diameter like this. Now, at this point, let's call the radius of the circle be equal to R. Now, Let's connect again the point of tangency of this circle like this. Take note, this is a diameter of the circle and also this is the height of this rectangle. So if this is the height, this is just r plus r or simply equal to 2r. Now we have the height of this rectangle. The problem is the base of this rectangle. Alright, so to answer this, Let's expand this diameter to the other side of this rectangle. And take note, we create a right angle right over here. So we have a right triangle. Now, take note that this is also the radius, and let's call this as r. And of course, this is the diameter of the circle, and this must be equal to 2r. Now, to have the base of this rectangle, Let's call this segment be equal to x. So, the base must be equal to x plus 2r or 2r plus x. So, we can now find the area of this rectangle. So, we have the base times height or simply 2r multiply by the base 2r plus x or x plus 2r. Alright. Now, we have the formula for the area of this rectangle. But the next question is, how do we get the value of this expression, 2r multiplied by 2r plus x? Alright, so this is very simple. What we're going to do is to create another right triangle. And to do that, notice if we connect this point and this point, we create another right triangle like this. Now, this is a right triangle. This is a 90 degrees because the hypotenuse is the diameter of this circle. Now, at this point, we can see two similar triangles. Where's the first one? So here's the first one, the small right triangle, and the big right triangle. They are similar to each other. Now, we will use the concept of similar triangles to find the value of this expression 2r multiplied by 2r plus x. Alright, now let's have the small right triangle. So let's have the ratio of the hypotenuse to its longer leg. And the hypotenuse is 2r and the longer leg is 6. So we have the ratio 2r over 6. Now, how about the big right triangle? So let's get also the ratio of its hypotenuse to its longer leg. Now, the hypotenuse is just 5 plus 6 or simply 11. And the longer leg is just x plus 2r or 2r plus x like this now take note that our goal here is to find the area which is equivalent to 2r multiplied by 2r plus x now given this equation 
Notice, if we cross multiply, we get something like 2R multiplied by 2R plus X equals 6 times 11. And this 2R multiplied by 2R plus X is the same thing as the area of this rectangle. Therefore, we can say that the value of 2R multiplied by 2R plus X must be equal to 6 times 11 or simply equal to 66. Therefore, we can also say that the area of this rectangle must be equal to just 66 square units. And that is the answer to this question. Therefore, given this information, the area of this rectangle must be equal to 66 square units. And as always, we are done.